Hello, Nation! We have an awesome show for you. Bill Lute stops by and talks about the copper wire pen video from Malari's uh, YouTube channel. Crazy stuff is happening here. My name is Matt Haas. I'm Ryan Bitters. And I'm Eloy from Escajeda Woodworking. And this is... <laughs> Made, Made by, by Nation! Nation. <laughs> Before we start the show, let's get to know the hosts a little bit better with an off-topic segment. Top three favorite hair bands from the 80s or early 90s. I think I'll have to say Motley Crue, Guns N' Roses, Poison. I'm a Poison fan. <laughs> Eloy? Let me think real quick. Uh, 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 da, 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 da. Striper? Rat and Ozzy Osbourne. Cool. Striper? <laughs> I like that song, Honestly. Honestly. Okay, cool. Ryan? Um, I think I'm going to go with two of the ones you picked because I got to go with Ozzy. And then Motley Crue. And I think I'll go with Twisted Sister. It was mentioned in the chat room. And yeah. Mike's Dee Schneider. Yeah. He's the man. Loves cartoons at Dee Schneider. He's a, he was a big Mickey Mouse fan. All right. Awesome. Let's get on with the show. My pick for this week is the Rebel Shield Alliance jewelry that your Trash My Treasure made. And the reason I picked it, like most things I pick, is because of the process more so than the final product. I really, really like how he took took it and put it on the lathe, or that thing he made on the lathe, to where he could get it really, really thin. Because, that you know, that'd be important for jewelry. So, um, But the final product is amazing, too. Well, first of all, anything Star Wars is usually completely and utterly awesome. Totally love it. Um, I like the fact that he did the Inkscape part in the video. So he showed us that process. Um, he even used the alcohol. Was it alcohol to... Oh, let, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. The hot glue. He used hot glue and alcohol was used to make it let go. I'm like, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of sanding, but... Most videos, I don't like watching sanding, but he used so many different types of sanders with the drill and I, and then the jewelry hardware. I, I've never done jewelry hardware. I thought that was kind of cool. So good, good video, good and product. Love it. Also, he always adds great music and it's it, all the music that he adds to his videos are very crisp. But as far as the, like very, cr there's a, a tone to it. The video is is incredibly special i could see you know by the way I, I like that stuff like totally right but i could see like back in the day us as as you know kids nerds as we were totally you know wearing that or giving it to a girlfriend or etc i i totally dug it oh and that was a valentine's day challenge too that oh uh, yeah yeah show well, well, yeah together. a little shout out there to you jimmy. go yeah yeah jimmy's a man running challenges taking over the internet <laughs> he is the collaboration king he really like every single uh collab he is all over it all right so the video i picked for this week is by brian and mark and this is woodworker 631 awesome channel the video itself is called mid-century modern side table and this is just a, a classic beautifully built side table it's got um sort of the angled shape to the box the carcass and they wrap it in b beautiful veneer i think the veneer was at least for the front you know drawer bird's eye maple just incredible these guys really know what they do and the cool thing about oh and the top let me tell you the top the uh top boy i, I forget i think it was walnut but what's cool about it is that they take you step by step if you wanted to build build it you could build it by watching their videos so they do a great job a service to the community beautiful video guys what'd you think love the love the two wood tones they really you know set each other off really well but the thing that i like the most is the legs i've seen a lot of projects done with those kind of legs what do you call them hair hairpin legs is that what they're called 
I, I have no so. idea. Metal legs is what I call yeah, them. Metal <laughs> metal legs. That'll work for me too. They um, mentioned they're available at the big box store, so yeah. go grab some. Um, but gosh, their videos are always so good, and they're very, very, very thorough with explaining how to build things. So yeah, it's good for a beginner, good for seasoned woodworker. It's good for everybody. Yep, and I like that angle they put on it there as well because that's always a bit of a challenge. I mean, how many times do we as woodworkers do 90-degree angles? <laughs> and so seeing that was uh, was a nice a nice touch as well, and it looked great on the final piece as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Yeah, and they do a lot of that. Like, there's a lot of information on their channel for furniture builds that are pretty seriously high-end. They do play around. They do build like um, crossbows and stuff like that, but when they, you know, which are awesome, you should check it out. But the furniture builds are just spectacular, so you guys rock. Yep. And uh, Shogun Jimmy says mahogany, so I guess that was one of the veneers in the video. Mahogany. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Okay, my featured video this week is Tea Machine by La Fabrique DIY, and oh my goodness, this video. It was short, but wow, so unique. He built a tea dunking Arduino machine. Uh, the whole thing's mostly wood. The electronics, was it was real brief in the video. It wasn't overwhelming at all. And I re one particular edit where he drew his finger over the board and it split on screen. And then... The rest of the board just split, 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 split. It was, a, it was just a neat kind of editing trick, but this channel has grown so much so quickly. It's very well done, and what an interesting, unique type of contraption he put together. Put a little bell on it so it, so it actually <laughs> shakes the tea bag to where it gets all the drips off. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Well, it's it's um, the perfect conversation piece. Mm. Um, it's just I can see it sitting in, in my. I know that if people see it, what is that? Is that to hang someone or what? And you know, <laughs> it's a good conversation piece, and it's mechanized. It's just a, a great. Uh, I love the video, and I didn't know about his channel, and now I do. So you know, that's a plus for me. Totally awesome. All right, same here. I had no. I've never heard of the channel before until Matt had shared it with us, but. Uh, Arduino stuff. I ab I understand absolutely zero about Arduino. So anytime I watch somebody do something with it, it's amazing. But it seems like these guys that mess with Arduino or uh, Raspberry Pi or any of these things that I don't can't fathom always come up with the most clever things to do with it. They're sometimes they might not have any point to them, but they're always so clever. And this was no different. Yeah, very very good. Michael Lawing in the chat says such a good video. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right, my friend. <laughs> okay, Nation, once again, we have a bonus video for you. Sometimes something gets published at the last minute and we just got to get it in there because it's awesome. This is Copper Wire Pen by Olaris. And oh my goodness, this thing was awesome. It's part of the No Lathe Pen Challenge that Bill Lavolsi put together. Oh, man, where do I start? The music was absolutely killer. Um, when he started putting solder on it, I was like, oh, no, you're ruining it. It looks horrible. But no, then he sanded it down, and oh, it looks so good. He's just absolutely killed it. I was blown away. And, you know, it's a pen video. I love pens. And I, I like the pen videos, but this was just super original and Great video, great product. I want to echo everything you said. I was actually going to say something about the solder there at the end because I, I too thought he was, I was like, why, why is he doing that? Why is he doing that? But uh, yeah, it was beautiful at the end. But th it's stuff like this, this innovative stuff where he took this, this challenge and, or contest challenge, whatever you want to call it, and came up with something so original and so unique. That's, that's the reasons I watch YouTube videos and maker content, period. Yeah. yeah, great video. He's always doing things like a little bit more outside, you know, of what you'd expect and always film beautifully. Sebastian's copper pen is just awesome, is what the Redsmith said. All right, we have a special guest with us, 
Bill Lutz. Lutz, you have 30 seconds. What do you have to say about this awesome build and this awesome video? Well, um, first of all, Johansson Ferrari is one of the coolest guys that ever came out of Mississippi. And I, I love everything he does. His, um, his pen video, the way he used the copper in it and all that good, everything you guys said about him. Um, I love his last name. It, you know, it's just like the cars, Johansson Ferrari. Everybody make sure you, you watch his videos. The guy out of Mississippi. How could you not love this guy? I mean, his Southern accent is beautiful. I, I just love everything about him. Seriously, folks, Sebastian Olari, check him out. I'm proud to say that I, um, I got talked out of not doing the pen challenge because his work was so amazing. Without a doubt. Son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I was hovering over the, uh, the beep button there. Thank you for that. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mr. Bill Lutz. We appreciate your comments. You're part of the nation. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me on. Now, Casey just drove up. I got to unload groceries. Understood. Take care, brother. Bye, Lutz. Later, Lutz. All right, nation. That's our show for you. You can also check this out in an audio-only version podcast. We are on iTunes, Google Play Music, Stitcher, and SoundCloud. And if those don't work for you, you can grab the show by the RSS feed and jam it in your podcatcher. We record on Mondays, 7 p.m. Eastern. Break out your Kyle Toth calendar. Everyone has a Kyle Toth calendar, don't they? And mark the Monday slot made by Nation on uh, Mondays, 7 p.m. My name's Matt Haas. I'm Ryan Bitters from Waylight Creations, and uh, hopefully this week we'll have out a video of a cutting board we made for my dad and stepmom for Christmas. I'm Eloy from Escajela Woodworking, and I've got a video that's going to come out by the time this shows, and it's a bull coffee table. Shape of a bull with a box on it. You can put your coffee on. Check it out. Thanks, Nation. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's cut it. <laughs> that was that was something